Before the print dries, we need to add adhesive powder. There are two ways to do this. If you're creating a couple of transfers, you can hand powder them. Or if you're printing a whole bunch of transfers, one of these dryer shaker combo units can do it more efficient, faster, and cleaner. Most automated powdering machines pour some powder onto the transfer as they enter the powdering chamber. Then they go through an area where there's a bunch of powder sitting across the film. As the film comes back up, headed for the dryer, there will be a shaker apparatus that shakes the excess powder off of the film. Hey, real quick, normally I ask you to hit the like button here, but this series, I wanna hear from you in the comments below. What would you like to know more about? Leave a comment now and we'll do our very best to help you maybe even cover it in a future video. If you don't have an automated dryer shaker, or if you're running a small batch, hand powdering is a perfectly fine way to add adhesive powder. Simply lay the transfer ink side up in a large tray of some kind and pour a generous amount of powder onto the transfer. Now, lift the film with two hands, roll the powder back and forth to get it to cover all of the ink. Do this a few times and then let the powder slide off into the tray. You can reuse this extra powder more than a few times. Now, we're going to do the same thing we saw the dryer shaker do and remove any excess powder. Hold one end of the film and flick the back side of the film to knock loose any powder. Once you stop seeing the powder come off the film, you're good to go. One tip when hand powdering is to wait for about 60 to 90 seconds before powdering. This wait time will allow for the ink to become slightly tacky instead of just wet. When a transfer goes through an automated dryer shaker, it doesn't receive adhesive powder for at least 60 to 90 seconds after it prints. In the next video, we'll explain the curing process. Click subscribe to not miss out when that video is released.